Welcome to Credit Matters. My name is Anne Charlotte Peterson and I'm a Senior Director in the Loan and Recovery Team. I'm joined today by Dustin Knoop, Associate Director in the Loan and Recovery Team, to discuss the ratings on Metro PCS's proposed notes issuance. So Dustin, tell me a bit about the transaction. Metro PCS plans to merge with T-Mobile USA, which is a subsidiary of Deutsche Telekom. The company is coming to market with three and a half billion of senior unsecured notes, which it plans to use to repay its existing senior secured bank facilities. While the company is coming to market now, the funds will stay in a separate account until the, the merger is complete. In the event that the merger is not completed, the proposed notes will be repaid and Metro's existing capital structure will remain in place as it is today. Therefore, given this nuance, we've looked at the issue level rating and the recovery rating of these new notes from the perspective of Metro and T-Mobile as a, as a combined entity as opposed to Metro on a standalone basis. While Metro's current capital structure continues to be analyzed on a standalone basis, however, we've put it on Credit Watch positive uh, and when the merger is complete, we would look to revise those ratings. So Dustin, how is the capital structure changing? Metro currently has the two and a half billion of senior secured bank facilities that uh, they will be repaying with the proceeds of these new notes. In addition, the company has two billion of unsecured notes which will remain in place for the, the, the combined entity. In addition, T-Mobile USA will have 15 billion of senior unsecured notes provided to it by uh, Deutsche Telekom, mm -hmm. as well as a 500 million senior unsecured revolving credit facility. So subsequent to the completion of the merger, all of the uh, obligations, all of the bank, um, all of the obligations will be senior unsecured and rank peri pursu. All right. So how did uh, S&P estimate recoveries for Metro PCS debt holders? So as I mentioned, it's essentially two different scenarios that we're looking at. There's mm -hmm. the one which is Metro PCS completing the merger with T-Mobile, mm -hmm. in addition to looking at uh, Metro PCS uh, as a standalone entity uh, in the event that the merger is not completed. So really it's two different companies that we're looking at in, time, in terms of size, capital structure, the presumed uh, enterprise value at the time of default. That being said, the overall methodology that we employ to analyze wireless carriers is the same. So we look at two different valuation approaches. One of them is a traditional cash flow multiple approach whereby we look at the uh, estimated earnings of a company at the time of bankruptcy and apply a multiple to it. In addition, in the case of wireless carriers, we, we also look at a discrete asset value which includes the um, the, the spectrum licenses that a company has, as well as a portion of its network assets. Thank you, Dustin. And thank you for joining us today on Credit Matters. For more information on our rating on Metro PCS, please click on the Related Content tab next to this video.